The British Library is known internationally as the home of academia, but on Thursday it previewed its latest exhibition to the world of comic books, Comics Unmasked, Art and Anarchy in the UK. This is the first time the establishment has put its name to the medium of comic books and hopes to celebrate the impact British comic book artists and writers have had on the international scene. The co-curators of the exhibition, John Harris Dunning and Paul Gravett, hope that the show will make visitors see comic books in a whole new way. We, we don't want to be apologists in any way about comics because um, I think people understand more that comics are equal to literature or visual arts now. But actually, um, having somebody like the British Library put themselves behind a show like this, I think really, really shows a very, very wide audience that they've arrived in a way that they haven't up to now. I think it's a real game changer. Adrian Edwards is the lead curator of printed historical sources at the British Library and he worked with Dunning and Gravett after they cited the idea to him two years ago. What we want to do is show that comics are a, val a valuable resource for understanding Britain and its society in past decades and centuries, so for us it's important to do it. But yeah, people are surprised, but the British Library is, um, is not a staid organisation. We've got lots of, we do interesting things, we're very interested in um, uh, putting creative artists in contact with our collections, helping inspire the creative industries, and this fits with that agenda, absolutely. The exhibition doesn't just show modern-day graphic novels and comic books like Preacher, Judge Dredd, V for Vendetta and Sandman, but goes back centuries to show how Britain has a long history in the art of comics. Yeah, this exhibition goes right back to 1470 with an incredible pauper's Bible, uh, which tells Bible stories in comic strip form. It uses balloons, it uses monsters and angels and demons, and it uses bright, garish colours. It could, could have been published today, in fact. And it shows just how long a tradition we've had. We, Britain has been at the forefront of making comics for many, many centuries. We only have to think of William Hogarth or William Blake uh, or, or many others who have paved the way for our current renaissance of comics. There are six sections to the exhibition, Mischief and Mayhem, To See Ourselves, Politics, Power and the People, Let's Talk About Sex, Hero with a Thousand Faces and Breakdowns, The Outer Limits of Comics. Each of them show how British comics have a history of being used to be subversive. Gravid explained that as a medium, comic books have far more power than people expect. Comics really are dangerous because when trial tests were done, the Pentagon discovered that the most effective way of implanting information into their troops was using comics. Not pure text or text with photographs or text with pictures, but comics. The most effective way to educate and to, in, and to, and to influence people's thinking. They work because they engage with both halves of our brain and they require you to really be actively involved in reading. It's not like watching a movie or, uh, or a TV show. You have to make the comic come to life on the page. He added that having this exhibition will mean a lot to the British comic book industry. Comics Unmasked, Art and Anarchy in the UK is on display at the British Library from May the 2nd through to August the 19th.